people have been turned into the rocks just because of the situations they've been put in and out of anger or something or that fucking wrong two minutes, you know? I, right. I, I, well, I'm not talking for myself, I'm talking to anybody. And I know people who just been working on this street forever. You take a whitey bulger, that's, that's, that's the biggest piece of shit out there. But at the same token, uh, you could take somebody like a Gene Gotti who kept his mouth shut but he's still not as much of a gangster as Gaspipe Casso is. I mean, I, I'm not just saying, no, like, yeah, you know. You yeah, know. Touch Gaspipe. You can't, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, re- I read some of his transcripts. Like that, 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 yeah, yeah, he, 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 yeah, you're right about that. And, and Sammy falls in the same in the same category. They're born, they're born of them, you know. They, they're just, they're, they got in their blood, you know. When you cooperated, did, did you have any... Not, I mean, obviously, I'm sure there was on the street. Of, but did people in your immediate family did did you have any issues? Did you well, have any backlash no, I, from I your do immediate? I have issues with, 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 with family members, and okay. we just don't talk, and it's done. It's done with. Right, right. They're their own people, and they, you know, it's well, your, your own they're, man. they're part of that life. I mean, I, I, I'd be quite honest with you. I, I, I don't know what to expect if my brother was coming down the street. Probably want to kill me. Who knows? Right. So, so he, you know, he, he, he yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they just, you know. Yeah, that's very. He definitely did not agree with what with the, where I'm at right now. If that's what we, uh, you know, if you want to get to that. Of course, I mean, not that it justifies anything, but you know, the fact that the the overall boss of the crime family. Cooperated. I mean, I'm not saying that that would justify and, and, and anything. But. Thing was that I, and I remember my mom was alive at the time, and uh, she thought well, I was in the can. And I told her, I said, look, my, the boss fucking talked. What the fuck's his problem? Talking about my older brother. And, she, and he responded to my mother, well, tell him what you think. You always think. Don't matter what anybody else does. So after that, that was the last thing I heard. And that was a related message because I hadn't seen it. Uh, you know, so and, and and here's another thing that I try to tell people that you know these and, and I don't even know why I even have to say anything because half these people are just idiots behind keyboards. But you know, when they're like you know talking about rats and this and that, you know, I always try to explain that you know people like Tommy Patera, they you know individuals like that, they've done such treacherous things. The government isn't going to offer a deal to somebody like that, or they may offer a deal to somebody like that, but it's not going to be a deal that would ever put a uh, uh, yeah, that, that would ever put a homicidal maniac back out on the street. Yeah, hey, look, you would be surprised. Sometimes you know you got to go to hell to prosecute the devil. Right. Well, and and and, 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 and and actually, you're right because I mean, Sammy Gravano did a lot of work, and he got out back out on the street. Right. Right. That, that's. It's just, uh, I mean, you know, the way that the media, the, yeah, yeah, but just the yeah. way that the media um, covered the Patera thing. I mean, he was more of like a sociopathic serial killer. You know, they're digging up females' corpses, and I, I, you know. I, I'm totally against that. I'm t- that's why one of my, you know, female. Have, and that's another thing that uh, Sicilians. I'm not saying Italians. But another thing with Sicilians always frowned upon is having women involved in our business. We just don't do. We don't even get involved in prostitution. I, I mean, we didn't in the beginning of the time. I mean, I, I don't know if it was an ego thing or what. We just don't let women make money for us. Right, right. Well, that's probably going back to the old country. You know, women are, you know, you know they hold down the home. It's involving a bit of right. whacking a chick. I, yeah, that, that's fucking bullshit. That's that whitey bulger bullshit. Right. And, um, you, you know, it's just trash. And, and, and we're not for that at all. Not, not a lot. And, and Colton Oster, for the most part, is not for that. Right. Not everybody. Not not everybody in the mob is a bad guy. I know. I know everybody likes to think so. But I met a lot of. I met more assholes that cooperated than I did guys that are out on the streets. You know, we. they we, it, it goes both ways. In fact, I, I I met a lot of interesting people out on the street. One of my mentors, he was a well-rounded guy. He still is. Um. He could hold a conversation with a doctor, and he could hold a conversation with a hood. I mean, he was both sides, and, 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 and I'm glad I met him because doing shit with him was around eggshells. And right. if it wasn't, I would have been in a lot better, worse place. I probably would have, yeah, I, God knows, you know, if I was with somebody like Patera, for example. 
Right. Of course. Now, now, did you, you know, uh, when you got out, you know, in your current situation, obviously you were in WITSEC for a while? Were you- I was in WITSEC, yes. <laughs> yeah, a couple of years back, an article came out that I, I got in trouble and whatnot. I don't believe right. everything you read. That, that was in my, that was, I mean, I'm on Facebook to see it. I did read... Uh, I think it was a New York Post file where they were, I guess they they were having you testify against Baldo Amato. Did, did, did that ever happen? Not that day, yeah. Uh-huh. I, uh, that, a New York Times article I, I read um, a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. That was one of the hardest things for me to do. We've come from the same town. Our family knows us for 100 years, Baldo, as you know. He's, yeah. He's our Carmichael Atkins bodyguard. Yeah, he, um, he, he was definitely a feared guy, for sure. Uh, yeah, and people say he was a feared guy. And of course, I mean, yeah, yeah, he was. But so was Joe Messino. And if I, didn't, I, I, I mean, Joe Messino was more of a feared guy in, in, in my shoes. You know, at the time I testified against him. Shit, I went to, I went to, when I went to, Testify against Joe. I had freaking AK 47s on helicopters following me to the court. Okay, so, I mean, that, if that was going to give you a little bit of what the fuck's going on, I don't know what is. But Baldo was different. It was a family thing. You know, right. family, I don't know. If the, our families, like I said, know each other a long time. I just, I, I was at the point where I didn't, just didn't want to do that shit anymore. I just don't. Right. Like it, you know, I can't, I can't, I did it. Joe flipped three months after his trial. Or, or um, well, it was known that he flipped three months after his trial. Flipped that day, actually, after he lost. I was coming over that. I was like, okay, you know, yeah, maybe I, people still, but people forget about me. You know? and, and some might even say, fuck it. Joe talked, so fuck him, you know. But then when the Barlow thing came up again, it, it was a hard one for me. When you testified against Messino, how many other guys were also testifying? How many did they have? Testifying against him. I was the only associate, I think. Okay, wow. That so that is a very big deal. I mean, that for sure that puts a bigger target on you. It'd be one thing if like thirteen guys were testifying, you know. But uh, yeah, no, it was like seven or eight. So there were some made guys. Um, and, captains on the yeah, all of them were made. Okay, and others. Except right, me. right. Okay, that that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. So, so what ha- what ended up happening with Baldo? Did he get uh, he got life right? He got life, and, and um, I mean, what got him life was in my testimony. Is that was in respect to two murders. I think one was of the New York Post guy, um, Dickie West, and his name was Perino. Mm-hmm. And there was another one, Sam DeFalco, mm-hmm. who um, was a co-owner of Janini's the coffee shop and the restaurant, which later became Casablanca, the one Joe was you know, owned. Oh, okay. And that's what got him in there, yeah. In your current life now, or, or, or I know you uh, pointed out a couple individuals that passed away recently, but were there like guys that were, uh, you know, still involved in the life, or even if they weren't involved, but were, you know, on good terms with being on the street, you know, like never testified or anything, that, you know, even though they may have uh, disagreed with the, the, the path that you took, that they still got along with you and still talk to you? Did you? I find my, no, because I don't look for that either. I mean, I, I, I have no, I mean, Sammy Bull said, it, I, I asked him, you ever go back to your neighborhood? He goes, not that I don't want to go back to my neighborhood. He said, it's just too many bad memories. Right, uh, right, of course. Memories. Right. You know, my mom was alive. My, um, I, I, I mean, do, am I worried? I'm not worried about it. I, no, no, no. I, I, like I said, I, I mean, a cow would die a thousand times. Right, that makes sense. Right, why rub it in you their know, face? Um, right, they're still. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm that guy, you know. Um, right. Um, I, I have a lot of fond memories of my old neighborhood that kind of get emotional, you know, stuff um, kind of, kind of like that, you know. It's not, it's not a question of having all to do this and that. That's just, that's just being insulting. I, 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 right. I, that's not. Well, there is an individual that um, that's going to be in the Netflix special. I, I'm not going to mention his name, 
uh, on the in the interview because I don't know if he, you know, um, he, he doesn't. Right, he proves. Yeah, he does, he does. Well, he doesn't really put himself out there like that. Um, I, I was a little surprised he was going to be on that Netflix thing, to be honest with you. But um, he he lives down here. And uh, when John comes down here, the last time John came down, we all went out to dinner. And uh, 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 Mike Jacobs was with us. I, I know you know Mike well, too. And, yeah, Mike's uh, a good guy. Yeah, I mean, I, I, know, I know. Yeah, um, Mike's a really good guy. So, uh, but I remembered uh, he, uh, this gentleman said the same thing, you know, he was like, you know, uh, I'm down here, you know, uh, I, you know, obviously I live by my biological name, you know, I'm not hiding, but I'm not going to be up there rubbing it in my former, so, you know, uh, you know, business associates. Yeah, faces, why, you know? why, why add insult to injury? It's just right. It. Then you're kind of, you kind of are asking for trouble at that point, you know, cause you're kind of. Well, too. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and you put people in a situation they might not want to be in. Right, where they feel like, look, man, I really don't want to have to act, but you're putting me in a predicament where I must have to act. Right. Yeah, now, right. now, you know, now you put me in, that's, that's, right. I'm pretty sure they have enough problems in their own. So right, yeah, absolutely, no doubt about that. Problems I bring to them, like, if I don't have to, but then, then I don't want to. Right. So, what do, what do you think today is the state of the of the Bonanno crime family today? I mean, I know there's not too many old timers still on the street. You know. I, I, I good question. That that I wouldn't know either. I've been out of the loop, and, and if it had been anything, it's probably from these uh, computer cowboys yet. Yeah, right. Right. All <laughs> right. Of course. Right. That's funny. Oh, yeah. So, um, so, so let's get into real fast into your media project. So you have this thing going on and I know, um, I, you probably can't get too in depth in it. Obviously we could talk about it off the phone, but, uh, but you're doing this uh, project, this Netflix, uh, project and, uh, and there definitely are some very interesting, I know most of the people that are involved in that, um, not, not on the, not on the production end, but the subjects. Did they give any timeline of when that's supposed to be uh, wrapped up, or, or is that something that you no, can um, talk about? You're talking or? about um, near future, um, in, in, in months, well, probably two to three months okay. before we start uh, putting it together. But as right. far as production, I'm confident with the production because it's, it's um, I, I've been in this situation before a couple of years ago, and between the guys, it just didn't pan out for me at the time. I was right. financially and uh, a lot of other reasons too. I, I dealt with two major networks, uh -huh. uh, cable networks, not major, but cable networks. Right. I'm sorry, take that back. And 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 um, it just didn't. It, it just didn't. Um, we weren't at the same page. Huh? So 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 far, at yeah. least with where this project is. It seems for at least for yourself, it seems like uh, it's something you're pretty comfortable with being involved in. Well, and, 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 and I could say it's not so much the money, but so much about the people behind it. It's people that have established themselves in those areas, especially in, in, in cinema. So they, okay. they're taking a note. That's that's good to hear. That's respectable. There's a lot of uh, individuals that. I mean, you're the first person. You're the first person I've talked to about anything about myself. And, and, and well, as lengthy as I have right now. Right. And and, and um, people referred me to see yourself, and I said, yeah, I'll do it. You know, they said you're a good guy, and you know, you know what you're doing, and doing these interviews again. It's not doing anything from any sort of sub subjective standpoint I'm just kind of conducting some questions and I like to sit back and just hear you know this is you guys live this this is a first-hand account to me it's a his historic significance in our country and uh, and it's it's in a chain link that is tied to events that have manipulated various things whether good or bad but regardless, it's, you know, there's so many things in American history that were directly or indirectly affected by organized crime. Going all the way to the John Kennedy assassination, to, you know, to the unions. Even the beginning you know, of the time. Right. The organized crime. And the whole thing being established in the way it was. It's kind of like the situation we're in now with this country. Um, basically, the United States got a lot of undesired 
12 in the 30s. And that's what happened. It happened in uh, Miami in the 80s. Right. With the Cubans. And we're going through a little bit of something right now with, um, with other immigrants. So on that, um, are, are you, uh, I, obviously I, I write about politics, I commentary journalism, but I'm a conservative writer, so everything's from a conservative standpoint. Um, are, you, are, you, uh, are you a fan of Donald Trump? I'm, I'm, I believe, well, I just put it this way because I have a lot of friends on both sides. Right. I believe that every immigrant should come in this country like I did legally. Right, Absolutely. I'm an immigrant myself, and that's the way I came in, and I think everybody should come in the same way. Yeah, for sure. But then again, you know, whether it's from the right or from the left, every move is like a game of chess. Every move has a meaning behind it, and there's an agenda. So, you know, people have to understand that. However, you know, some of these moves that are being played by the left are moves that will give them perpetual power in Washington because they look at it as it's building a a, a larger voter base for them. You, you know. All they need to know is socialism is another word for communism. It don't yeah. work. Right. All right, my man. Um, I, 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 okay. think, I think I pretty much covered just about everything. And uh, Okay, thank you, Michael. Frank, I really appreciate you sitting down with me and doing this. It, it really means a lot.